Hey, please. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna handcuff you. Ladies, ladies. Get out of my face! Oh my gosh! You are a cheater. Uh, now you're a comedian. <laughs> That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. After traveling across the country to get away from bad elements, Juan Guzman is afraid that his girlfriend is falling back into her old habits. Concerned that her current phase is becoming permanent, Juan seeks help from those specialized at divining the truth. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. Well, you see, we, we, we're from Jersey, and, uh, you know, it was a nice place, lived there for a few years. Uh, we were together, she didn't really like the place, and then uh, we started having problems with uh, certain, a certain group of people. I visited Dallas once and uh, with, with my friends. It was a nice place, nice area. Texas has just big hearted people and they're, they're just all nice, you know. So I told her about it and she was, she was down to come, you know. She said, uh, you know, I'll find a job down there that she'll help out with the bills and everything. We should be good. See, before, before we moved, we weren't that into partying. I myself not into partying that much. I'm just a kind of chill bad guy that likes to watch a movie, you know, with my girl. But uh, here lately, after hanging out with these guys, she's just, I just noticed a change in attitude. She, she started partying more, drinking more. She used to tell me how she, she didn't even like to taste the beer. Now she's begging me to buy a six pack. You know, these, these roommates take, take her out places. They, 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 they get her to some, some stuff. They're like, why, why are you even doing that? You know, that's my girl. And then, and then she comes to me and treats me like I'm a piece of meat. You know, and, and if we put it in that perspective, I ain't prime meat to her no more. I used to be her prime meat. Now I'm just a, a cut of choice. I've given up everything, everything I had. I had a good, I, I had a good life over there in Jersey, but I just knew it'd be better here w with her. But it doesn't look like it's turning out that way. And if she's cheating on me, man, it just, I might just go insane. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Shelby DeMarco, age 21. A woman accused of using her living arrangements as a sexual playground. Investigation day three. With a perimeter set up around the home, the suspect and Juan share with a number of roommates, agents finally catch sight of their mark, Shelby DeMarco, as she leaves and enters her car. After following her for a number of miles, pursuing agents track her to the restaurant at which Juan works as a chef. She enters the establishment and is soon greeted by an unknown male. DeMarco's companion brings her a soda and decides to take a break before the dinner rush. He sits next to the suspect and the two chat for a number of minutes. Finally, DeMarco's friend must return to work as he dons his chef's hat and brings his cart to the cooking station. He makes quite a fiery display for DeMarco as he cooks her a Japanese feast. Afterwards, the gentleman, now dressed in his street clothes, meets the suspect at the bar. With Juan nowhere to be found, the couple steal a quick kiss before going their separate ways for the rest of the day. Investigation Day 5. Perimeter agents watch the suspect and her companion from earlier surveillance, now identified only as Josh, exit the home. Investigators are now aware that Josh is, in fact, one of the three housemates sharing the home with Juan and DeMarco. Furthermore, it's revealed that all the residents in the home work at the same restaurant. DeMarco and Josh are tailed to a movie theater where they walk hand in hand to the ticket booth. They buy their tickets for the matinee and enter. While DeMarco and her roommate enjoy the newest blockbuster, it's Juan who's being treated like an extra as evidenced in this recorded phone call. Where, we're looking pretty slow at work. I'm probably, probably thinking about getting off early. You want to 
do so? I mean, I made a pretty good money. Baby, I really don't feel good. I've had the worst headache all day, and I'm so exhausted. I'm just going to take some medicine and try to get some sleep, okay? But you should work and we'll get the money, baby. We can go out this weekend. All right, I'm going to get that card. Okay, love you. Bye. Investigation Day 7. Internal surveillance cameras placed earlier by Juan capture Josh as he comes home from work. DeMarco is relaxing on the couch as he enters, and the two share a kiss hello. Josh, apparently needing to wash off the smell of stir-fry, retires to the bathroom. Soon after, however, he appears wearing only a towel and coaxes DeMarco to come join him. She leads the way into the shower. While the couple suds each other up, another roommate returns home. He sits on the couch and shouts for Josh. Josh exits the bathroom and greets his friend. While keeping the roommate distracted, DeMarco sneaks out of the bathroom and into the adjacent bedroom. Units outside are startled when they spy the suspect slipping out of the window and up to the front door. Acting as if she just got home, DeMarco enters the home and greets her other roommate with a long bear hug. Now with enough evidence proving DeMarco's shenanigans, agents close the case and begin gathering data for Juan's approval. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's free love lifestyle caught on tape, Cheaters presents the facts to Juan. On edge regarding the results, Juan rallies his conviction in the hopes of saving his relationship. Juan, early in our investigation, we had detectives outside of the home that you rent. This afternoon, Shelby was observed as she left and actually was followed to the restaurant where you work. She goes inside. This is early in the evening as the shift was beginning. She grabs a seat, goes to one of the stations where one of your coworkers was going through his closing procedures. She moves over to the bar. And after some time, the same chef at the station where she was just sitting joins her and they sit down in conversation that's that's my roommate josh so this is someone that you live with as well as work with yeah well they spend a few moments in conversation until she leans in gives him a kiss on the cheek and then exits and returns home one on this afternoon our detectives were again stationed outside of your residence. Josh and Shelby exit your home and were followed until they arrived at a movie theater. As they were walking in, we did see that they were holding hands. After the show, they exit return back to the residence where we can see them greeting another individual which is your other roommate everyone watches some of that evening's programming before they all retire later that evening shelby exits your bedroom and enters another bedroom in that same hallway and she remains there for a while until she returns back to your bedroom. Let me call the detective and see if he can give me an update on what's been taking place right now, okay? Yeah, what's going on on your side? She's there and he is as well, okay. Oh, and some other folks? So there's a there's a, a gathering at the house. You got some other people over there too. Okay. Well, um, we're just down the street, so uh, we'll just head in your direction right now. It sounds good. Okay. See you in a second. They're inside. He knows where they are. They're all inside party. Inside. Okay. One. Okay. Hey, hey, Juan. Hang on. Stay close. Security.
Coming up next, the conclusion. There's a there's a gathering at the house. Hey, what? Put that down. That's not how to do it. No, we're not going to do that here. Please come talk to me. I need to explain things. Just let me talk. Come in my house, trying to bring my machete on me. Come in my house, my girl. Then she will play that in Jersey. We don't play that in Jersey. I got them. We don't play that in Jersey. Ain't no stop. talking. Josh, stop. There ain't no more talking. Juan, let me talk to you for a minute, please. What the f you got to say? How do you not know that things have been like this? I don't understand. You give me no attention. You promised when we came here things would be different. Stop, stop, stop. Show me well, any attention. No, no, get that from him. No. You work all the time. Night, no. You don't ever talk to me. You don't ever talk to me. You don't ever talk to me. You don't ever Have your house, have that girl. I'm going Shelby, tell your mama I said what's up. How did you think this was going to end up? Huh? I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't think about things ending. I don't know. I got to get my stuff. I got to get my stuff. Yeah, get your to then. I'm not supposed to do when I'm working 12 motherfucking hours a day, huh? How much attention can I give you when I'm working? I damn day? I come exhausted. What the you want from me? You don't give me anything. I've been trying to give you everything. No, you don't. You don't ask me how my day is. You come home exhausted. You come home grumpy. We don't talk. They give me. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't ask how your day was because you come home stumbling. No, I don't. No, not every day. You never come home. You never come home till three in the morning from work. Of course, I gotta find it from somebody else. Of course, I do. Yeah, that's why she be me. Attention! You don't give it to me. You gonna do that? What? This is a white picket fence you asked for? This is not what I wanted. I have not been happy. You know that. I have not been happy since we got here. You think I've been delightful? Yes. You, you don't so care. Up? So what's up? Dude, you need to shut your mouth. You love that. Nah, you need to shut your mouth. She loves that. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Let him go. Let him go. No. Back up. Come down. Come down. Quit being in that camera being a little pretty girl. You want to come in? You love me? Then let's go. Then be with me. We getting out of here. Nothing's changed in six months. Nothing well, has changed. Well, you either stay or you're going then, huh? You act like you don't even care. I you don't like even I don't look care. at me. Like, look at me. I'm hot. Like, show me some respect. Like, be proud of me. Show you respect. You don't even respect yourself. How the f you got to have respect? She needs right here. I got all the respect she needs. They're proud of me. You take 10 miles of d and you want respect? What kind of is that? Ain't no girl like you ever going to get respect. Miss Goody Two Shoes over there. That popping on my Bad bitches bopping on my Who What's made up? a bad? This bad What's mother up? right here. Made me dirty on my polo. What's up? Let's go in toe to toe. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Come on in. What's up? Toe to toe. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, let him fight. Hey, let him fight. Back up. He like my little sister. <laughs> That's why I'm still here, huh? Stop, Josh, get, stop, stop. She don't want to come with me, then. So what's up, where are you going, girl? I don't want any of you. You and all y'all girls can go then, see I, you? I really don't want any huh? of you, I really Peace. don't. Get your ass in that I, car. I'm leaving, bye. Come on, let's get your ass in there, get in the back. Yes, bitch. Hey, we 
y'all have some of the buffet? <laughs> we all you ho. After the confrontation, Juan is left alone to sort through the debris of his relationship. Later, we'll divulge on how he recovers. But now, Caleb Quinn comes in to explain being caught in bed by his wife, with his best friend's wife, on Cheaters. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about uh, KJ, my girlfriend, at all. Uh, just, you know, I just had one thing on my mind and one thing only, you know, tied her up. We we're about to have a good time. I drank a few beers, and then all of a sudden, all the cameras came in. I just realized there was no explaining anything. It was, I'm just totally busted. Where's Alex? No, 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 no
She means the world to me, so why would I ever do that? I just feel as if those feelings are being shown towards someone else. It's like someone else is, is occupying that spot in her head. And that's why she acts as if she doesn't care. Because she has other things in, on her mind that is on me. If I catch her in the act? Oh, you don't want to ask me that question right now. You don't want to ask me that question right now. If I see... No. No. If we walk into that and that's what she's doing, I am going to tell her every single thing she's done wrong to screw up this relationship. And if that dude dare interrupt my conversation, I hope you have security there. I hope you have security there because uh, that dude's gonna need some help. Feel me? You feel that? All right. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheater's Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Maddie Noonan, age 22. A waitress suspected of serving herself up a big plate of beefcake. Investigation day two. After several hours, the suspect, Maddie Noonan, is spotted in front of the restaurant where she works. A few text messages later, a car pulls up and the passenger door is pushed open. Noonan enters and leads mobile units to another nearby eatery. Once parked, detectives are given their first glimpse of the unknown male driver. He and Noonan hold hands as they walk across the parking lot and enter the establishment. They settle on the patio, and in between appetizers, they share a number of intimate kisses. Upon finishing their surf and turf, they return to the man's car. Noonan's companion seems overly concerned about his hairstyle. Once again, they hit the road, finally arriving at the apartment the client and suspect share, at which point agents lose visual contact of the couple. Investigation day four. As previously observed, Noonan exits her job and waits for her ride to arrive. Eventually, her knight in shining armor, identified only as Caleb, pulls up, allowing Noonan to enter. The pair apparently are feeling nostalgic. They make their way to a CD store, enter, and take great delight in looking over the recordings of Oingo Boingo. They exit the store without a purchase and stroll to the adjacent Asian restaurant for some dinner. They get their meals to go and quickly return to Noonan's home. Knowing that the apartment will be empty, the suspect and her bohunk carry their food up the stairs, unaware of the internal surveillance cameras placed earlier by Omar. After finishing their grub, the couple settle on the couch. It appears that Noonan finally has enough of the puppy love, escorting her new man into the bedroom where the two remain enclosed prior to Omar's return home. Investigation Day 6. Once again, Noonan awaits Caleb's chariot to arrive. He finally pulls up and the suspect hops in. Mobile units tail the duo to a nearby yogurt shop. Once they enter, ground agents follow suit and capture the couple enjoying some soft serve delights. While the two share their swirl and quite a bit of each other, it's Omar who's left out in the cold, as evidenced by this recorded phone call. With a clear-cut case of infidelity, Cheater's intelligence pulls up stakes and returns to headquarters to begin preparation for the impending meeting with Omar. Coming up, the confrontation.
with documentation of Maddie's carnal activities, Omar is secured to review the evidence. Wanting to relieve his suspicions, Omar takes a bold first step toward the truth. As our investigation began, Maddie's communicating with someone. And shortly thereafter, a car comes, picks her up. They travel to a restaurant. And through the bushes, our detective was able to observe some of this clandestine activity. This gentleman brings Maddie back to your place. They go inside before he exits and departs. On this day, she's picked up by the same gentleman. They were followed to a shopping center. They stop for a yogurt. I can't believe this. This is out of control. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. This is out of control. Based on the activity that had taken place earlier in our investigation, we had you place a hidden camera inside your apartment. And now we observe their relationship going to the next level. She's such a liar. She's such a liar. She's such a liar. They are still together now. Oh, hell no. Let me contact the detective. See I if you can give me an update. This. I cannot believe this. Hey, what's going on on your side? They're back at the apartment? Sounds good. We'll just head there right now. Okay, bye. Joey, a little okay. bit ago, somebody else just went to the apartment. Okay. Get in there. Female. Female went in? Yeah. Okay, security guys, stay close. Security, stay close. Maddie! Maddie! No, no, we're not gonna talk. Me and him are gonna talk. Dude, no. dude! Who the f are you? Settle down, stop. everybody, settle down. Just stop, just stop. stop. Oh my, oh someone, my, oh someone my, oh my, Someone get this dude out. Someone get this dude out. Stop! Hey, gentlemen, dude, stop. You're right. Babe! Don't call right. me. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me. Hell no! Get out of here, man. You Stop. have no idea. Stop. I didn't even know you guys were going out. Stop. Oh, yeah? This, yeah? Hey. After all, we have been through. That's what you're gonna. What the f are you doing, dude? I thought you were having a tonight. I thought you were having a Look at what you're doing. Look at what you're Look doing. What the f you have been doing. What do you mean? What you have been doing? doing? What, are you what, doing? Have what are you doing? talking about? You've been cheating on me. What the f? I didn't even had it. Hey guys, get off. Everyone, hands down, relax. Everybody, yeah. gentlemen. Hell no. Hell no. You're gonna play pretend. You're gonna play pretend like you didn't do this first. Look at what you're doing. I have Look at what the you did first. Of you doing that. Coming up, the conclusion. They finished with dinner. I just went back to your place. Maddie! Oh my god. I thought you were getting tonight. Yeah. Get your pants on. Dude! I it's dead to me! It's dead to me! Are you gonna get or are you gonna still talk over here? No, you get out of my apartment! Get out of my apartment! Shut the up! Shut up! No one asked opinion. Like your opinion ever. Get out. Man. Get the out of here, man. Caleb! Where the hell are you going? Caleb! Where are you going? What the f are you doing? Caleb, really? Really? Yeah. Drive off. Drive off, mother. Drive off, bitch. Are you Drive off. Me? Why don't you get out here and say that? Why don't you get out here and say that? 
What, what did you get out here and see? Whoa, guys. Dude, you're going to do that to me? You're going to do that to me? What the? Get off me! You're going to do that to me? Get off me! You! You're telling me about him! You bitch! Everybody, back. Down. Get the out. Watch out. You, dude. Get, get in you the house. You don't talk to me like this. Get in the house. How the are you gonna talk explain to me like Explain yourself. I don't have to explain. What did I do wrong? Huh? That was just one of the minis, just wrong? like you. What just did I do like wrong? you, bitch. Just what did like I do you. Wrong? You want to me around? Huh? I'm gonna do the same to you. I did not do to you. Best believe. Who told you that I cheated on you, huh? Oh, I no you are a neighbor. You because ain't even gone he's that a I was drunk. Him. You need to shut up. You need to get the hell out of here. Just because you were caught guilty, just because you, you were caught guilty, who? what the f told you about that? Dude, I'm not in that. What, what are you? What are you gay? You're the funnest gay bitch. What do you mean I'm You're gay? You're the one that had me move to the neighborhood, neighborhood, pansy ass mother everywhere. You call really me gay. Call me gay. You don't know who you're messing with. I really don't know who I'm messing with. <laughs> Where's your little I thought boyfriend? I knew. Where's your little what boyfriend? boyfriend? You, John. What boyfriend? John. Your little boyfriend John? At. Yeah. What are, you, what are you talking about, John? Where the f is your little boyfriend at? He's always over here. He's always over here. Do you here. see him here right now? We can't even. <laughs> get, the, get the hell out of here. Bitch. Get the hell out of here. We can both beat your here. ass. I bet. You bet. Yeah. Who the f is yeah. talking? Yeah. Right here. What? Yeah. Who the f is talking? Yeah. Let's do it. Look get like out of here. Don't touch get me. Out of don't here. touch get the hell me. Get your hands off of That's a. Man, you will, don't you know will. how to treat us, do you? You really don't know how to treat sure us. Sure know how to treat how a man. You, ben, and ben, you sure know how to treat a man. Ben, how about ben, you? Ben, 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 ben. See how he likes it. You don't know how to treat us. Ben, ben, just bounce. Come on. Just bounce. Get the Just grub and mother. Get the and it didn't do my shit. And it didn't do my shit. Get out of my face. You think I did, bitch? Sober? Did, bitch? Hey, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I thought so. What? Come here. What? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get the out of my damn face. Leave. Leave. Just leave. Leave. I will leave. Will you catch HIV with that homo mother? Will leave. Worth it. Yeah, bring your bring your bring your little boyfriend over here and I'm gonna put him in the Yeah. Seriously, get the out of my Who is it? What the You're not welcome here, so why don't you just stay it? I pay the rent, bitch! I swear to God, oh my! You better open this damn door! Who the do you think you're trying to Sit kiss? Down. No. Sit down. No! Sit down. Why? Sit your ass Why? Down. So you can tell me some more of your lies? So you gonna bring the cheaters you know crew you know up what? in here? You know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Why yeah. are we here? You were done Why are with we this here? a long time ago. Why and now here? I'm Why done and you're upset. You know so what? Are you I'm here? No, no! We just last night. night. We just last night, you yeah. mother That's exactly what you up in her Face. Okay, well, that's nice. So that's all Please. that was. Please. Get the f out of her face, Please. mother. Get, get your curly ass. Get the Seriously. Face. Get the you know face. what? You were cheating a the long time away from her. Oh, my. And you no. And you no. Don't even try to play pretend. You know what? Good. 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 Bye. 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 Hey, Get out of my face. I need to, I need to smoke a cigarette. I need some room. Let her walk off, let her walk off. After the confrontation, Omar wrestles with the grim truth of his situation. Stay tuned when we unveil how he proceeds. But now, Kevin Hart comes forward to examine his appetites when caught by his girlfriend on Cheaters. She said we were together, but we wasn't. 
So I just ventured out, met this other woman, you know what I'm saying? So me, her started kid, she was taking care of me. So I felt like, well, if you take care of me, hey, why not have both taking care of me? Y'all just around, y'all just swarmed at me like a pack of dogs on some meat. I was like, ah, oh. and next day she do slap the salad in my face. Who is this? What? Who is who, who is this? 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 Who is you? Who is you? Who is you? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? Did you know he was with me? Huh? But I understand that she did what she had to do. I would say the real problem was she wasn't showing me enough attention. If she would have shown me a little more attention and less jealousy and at least more trust in of me, then I probably wouldn't have did what I did. But hey, I gotta say, after a while, she must have just got tired. So, so yeah, ain't no baby. Ain't no baby. Baby, ain't no baby. Sorry. Ain't no baby. Two years, two years, Sorry. huh? Two years, you Sorry. wanna go out to that drink? Two more years, whatever, whatever. That's good, though, two years, two years. You sure, right? He said that he didn't have a girlfriend. You knew he did. No, I didn't you know. Knew he you knew he did. No, I didn't. Oh, ladies, Just don't ladies. put your hand in my face. Ladies, ladies. Don't put your hand in my face. I ain't tripping, though. You can have her. After that, after the whole conversation, I got over. I went on, did my thing, talked to Cola, hey, me her together, I'm happy for right now, but who's to say if it's going to work out, but for right now, it's, it's good. Understanding that two wrongs don't make a right, Omar Garcia is willing to start over with his relationship with Maddie. He hopes that, with prayer and hard work, they can find the common ground needed to build a foundation for a long and loving relationship. For Matty Noonan, the confrontation was the best thing that could have happened to her. She claims that, despite his professions of innocence, Omar was the one who broke their bond first. Caleb was a... Hey, please. Get out of my face! Oh my God! You are a cheater! Now you're a comedian! That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. After months of worry, Alicia Woods hopes to discover why her boyfriend has become so cold. Wondering why the clean house she leaves is in disarray when she returns, Alicia calls on the experts to discover who is playing when she's away. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. I don't know where things are going wrong with us. I work every day, I go to school, I'm a good woman, I take care of the household, and I feel like I take good care of him. But he's not showing me that love and affection that he used to show me when I first started dating him. The times I would leave to go to work, I always open the blinds. Every time I come back, the blinds are always closed. The bed's always messed up. I mean, I would come in some nights, you know, from work, or some days, you know, just try to dress up for him and do some sexy things for him, and it just doesn't even arouse him anymore. He makes me feel like I'm an outsider. He makes me feel like I don't even mean anything to him. We used to do things together all the time. It was all the time we always either went to the movies, he took me out to eat, you know, we went to the park, did picnics, just, you know, things a woman loved to do. He doesn't do any of those things anymore. And it's very, very heartbreaking. I know that I love Jeremy. I know I do, but it's just so many things have changed. Changed with me, changed with him. I feel he doesn't love me anymore. I want to get down to the bottom of this. I want to get down to the bottom of whatever is going on because I'm not happy. He's not happy. Nobody in our household is happy. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Jeremy Trenton, age 32, 
a supervisor accused of keeping his days free for another woman. Investigation Day 3. Once complainant Woods leaves for work, this day proves to be anything but ordinary. Investigators spy an unknown female arriving. The woman traipses up the stone stairs to the suspect's residence and knocks on the door. A few moments pass before the suspect, Jeremy Trenton, answers. He greets the patiently waiting young lady on the porch with a hug and kiss hello. The two disappear inside the apartment, with Trenton closing the blinds as they pass by. Hours later, the suspect and his companion at long last emerge and gingerly make their way down the steps. The barefoot Duke of Deception ushers his lady friend to her car and shows no sign of modesty as he grabs her behind and pulls her close for a kiss goodbye. Investigation Day 5. Once again, after Alicia leaves for work, little time passes before Trenton's companion, whose identity remains withheld, returns. Trenton, dressed to the fives, is spotted on the deck enjoying the view of his consort's arrival. He helps his little lady up the last two steps and kisses her hello. Despite her heavy load, the suspect is more inclined to slap her behind a couple of times rather than helping her with her sack. Trenton again closes the blinds to prevent the spying of private eyes. However, an hour later, Trenton's companion appears wearing his trousers and retrieves an item from her car. The two sizes too big britches seem cumbersome for the waif-sized woman as she struggles to keep them on. She finally makes her way to the confines of the apartment where she remains for three more hours. Eventually, the duo, having decided whose clothes are whose, say their fond goodbyes by the companion's car. Investigation Day 7. Once Alicia leaves for work, perimeter units take note that it takes several hours for Trenton's companion to finally arrive. The couple greet each other with a kiss and then disappear inside. The blinds again close and two hours go by before perimeter agents catch the couple departing in Trenton's car. While Trenton tries to keep the flames of passion rising, it's Alicia whose coals grow cold in this recorded phone call. Hey, Jeremy, what are you doing? Nothing really, what's up? No, I'm just wondering. I noticed the bed was kind of messed up, and um, I don't know, it was just kind of weird, so just want to make sure that, you know, in the morning, just try to make up the bed or whatever. Well, what's that mean? Um, nothing. I mean, it's just kind of weird that it just, you know, like, are you sleeping all day or what? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I ain't got to be at work till later, so, I mean, I'm just laying in the bed. Uh, okay, well, if you could, just try to make up the bed, okay? Bye. Right. All right, love you. I love you, too. Cheater's intelligence determines that ample data is readily available and begin to compile their findings for Alicia's ultimate enlightenment. Coming up, the confrontation. Having exposed Jeremy's illicit morning routine, Alicia is summoned and brought up to speed. Embittered by his ongoing mistreatment, Alicia hopes the truth will bring finality to her agony. On this day, not long after you left, a vehicle arrives, young lady exits, goes up the stairway, knocks on the door, Jeremy answers, greets the young lady with a kiss, she enters, and that's the way things remained until a few hours later when Jeremy escorts the young lady to her car. On this day, we again observe the same thing. At some point during this tryst, they take a break, run and get some food to go, go back to the apartment. You had placed a hidden camera inside of your apartment, and this is what that camera was able to capture. They take that party into another area. After being gone for a considerable period of time, they return. She gathers her things. He walks her back outside to the vehicle. And now to complete the charade, Jeremy comes back inside and tries to discard the evidence. Alicia, I need to check with our detective 
because we have additional information that will clear up what is going on tonight. Yeah, what are you looking at right now? Okay, so she showed back up at the apartment. All right. All right. Okay, so you're at the back entrance off of Houston. Okay, we'll look for you in the street. She knows why. Yes, he lives with me. We've been together for three years. Wow. We live together. I pay the mother bills. Are you serious? She is. No. No. If you, you need been, to be honest. If you would have been doing what you were supposed to, I wouldn't have her in my life in what the first place. What do you mean by that? We live together. What do you I mean ain't that? We ain't had sex in six months. You expect well, me to well, do it? Now what? Wow. Now what? Wow. Do that if you want to. I do whatever uh, I want to do. Wow. wow. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? 
Where so are you going? I done told you. Why you just gonna you, be honest? You want you want to be tripping like Why this? Why you just couldn't you be can real with yourself. me? You can stay by yourself. I've been done told you. You don't you wanna listen. Listen. You didn't tell me nothing. I've been telling you I ain't happy with you. I've been telling you I've been you trying to do something different. How many that. times have I told you you, you don't never listen? Told oh, it's about my career. It's all about you. You saving I yourself. I trusted you. We've been here three years, I and you trusted you. Know, you. you want to bring all these people in here. You want to do all this drama. Because you wasn't man enough to I tell me. I told you, Felicia. You want to get in your little. I don't want to be with you no more. I'm hot, mighty ass. Dude, I done told you, I'm not happy with you. We ain't doing nothing. We need to take a time break. You want to do it? Fine. You know what? I'll get it somewhere else. And That's she damn sure give it to me like she's supposed to. That's why I see you with damn, everybody anyway. You damn right, because she give me everything that you, you don't. You know what? That's but all then, right, though. Are you still in You can picture? have it then. I've been you told. You can have it. You get these motherfucking cameras at my face. I do nothing. You want to be big and bad like no, you're doing? No, don't worry about it. You in this little bitch right here. Get your mother. And don't push me. I do, I do. do not push me. And I mean that. Miss, how, did you, how did you meet this gentleman? I met a, a year ago. Friends, we are cool. I don't know who this bitch is. They live together. I've been dating. They live together. I didn't know that. I love you. I gave you everything. You ain't gave me what I wanted when I knew. So I told you I'm gonna get it somewhere else. Now that you know, me and Jay, how does it change? Me and Jay, we will discuss that when we get there. But he needs to get in the car so I can go. I don't have time. For Let's go. Don't sure, you ain't gotta be pulling on him. Jay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm down with this. Okay. Down with this. You just want to wait here for a second? Get your ass back over her. Let's go. Get over her. You got this bitch in my face embarrassing me in front of all these people? Let's go. That's out of my control. I'm out of my with face. all that matter. Obviously, you're not. Have you ever heard anything like that from him as far no. as his unhappy? No, never. He's never told me that. He's lying. He's never said no, anything I, and I'm, to me about I, that. Jay, let's go! God, dog, this bitch is tripping for real. Hey, hey, you was with another girl, man? Here, I'm gonna give you some, man. You going back in? Yeah, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna give you one, man. Because you got rejected tonight. Okay, I don't have it. Give me 50 bucks. How you gonna give me one say 50 bucks? Man, come on, dog. Let's go! He seen to be okay with talking about it later when you calm down, obviously. Are you okay with that? No. I mean, is it something that you I'm, want I'm, to talk I'm about? I've washed my hands with it. I'm done. Yeah. I found out what I need to find out. I'm an independent woman. I can do my own thing. I loved him. Yes, I loved him. I loved him with all my heart, but I'm not going to stand by and get treated like some animal. I'm not going to allow that to happen anymore. I'm too good of a woman. I don't need that. Following the confrontation, Alicia is left alone to decide the fate of her relationship. Soon, we'll reveal her definitive decision. But first, Moni, the complicit party from the Ramonda Hammer case, comes in to clear her name. When caught getting cozy with Ramonda's husband, Rusty, on Cheaters. He was paying my bills, so that's why I stuck in with him. I mean, he gave me whatever I wanted. I didn't have to, like, whatever I asked him for, he gave it to me. But really, when y'all drove up, all we were doing was drinking. At first, I didn't know what to do. I was like, okay, what is going on? And then, like, once I seen her jump out, I already knew what was going on. Who is that? Who is that? Who is Damn. Huh? Damn. Get open the doors. Open the doors. My camera. Who are you, bitch? Get out of my car. Get out. Get out. Get out. Talk to me like a real woman. Get your ass out the mother car. Get out. Rusty. Get can out. You, can you? First of all, she shouldn't even came at me. She should have been talking to him because I didn't know nothing about her. I had no idea he had a wife. He had me believing that he wasn't with anybody. So he led me on. I didn't lead him nowhere. After that, I didn't want to talk to him no more because that was just too much drama. <laughs> Just put me in a situation where I did not want to be. But I haven't talked to him since that day. No, now no, what you gonna no, do? Huh? Me and oh. 
Tell me no, eh? And it is. Yeah. And what tell me, who are you? Who are you? Hey, hey. Who are you? Hey, hey. Who are you? With my... Uh, uh, with my... Uh, uh, with my... Uh, with my... Uh, You know that's called a song, right? And, you know it's a song, right? And, 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 explain to me. Explain to yourself, me. Man. Right now, I don't want to be in no relationships. I just want to be by myself and just take care of my business. I don't, mm -mm, I don't have time for none of that no more. It's just me and my kids. I don't want no dudes, no nothing. <laughs> just want to be by myself. Although enduring chronic heartache, Alicia Woods confesses that she'll probably give Jeremy a second chance. With the help of a couple's counselor, Alicia hopes the relationship can be repaired and they will withstand the test of time. As far as Jeremy Trenton's concerned, he's over the whole situation and he's willing to give his relationship another shot. He does have a caveat, however, stating that if Alicia is not willing to put him first, then he'll find what he needs whenever and wherever he can. Trenton's compare And this is Cheaters. Our age at first I didn't see as a problem. I mean, we seemed to get along perfectly. I've like hardly even noticed that he was, you know, any older than me and I felt like, you know, we were compatible like on the same level all the time, but He's been, you know, staying out later. He's not always, you know, he's never home. He's working more than usual at different hours. Um, he's not there whenever I get back from school like he was. He doesn't pay as much attention to me anymore. When I am home by myself, then he's still constantly calling. Yeah, I never ask him questions about where he is or what he's doing, but he, you know, are you sure you're home? Like, you know, it doesn't sound like you're home. Is anybody over? He'll ask me to do things like turn the microwave on to prove that I'm at home, or um, our printer makes a certain beep, and he wants, he wants me to print something out for him. One day I was at home doing um, schoolwork, and I was on you know the computer that we share, and um, his email was open, so I stumbled across um, an ad from Craigslist, and I was just looked at it to trying to see like what he was selling or why he had posted an ad, and it was um, that he wanted small-chested women to host monthly parties for him. Um, I can't sleep anymore, I can't focus. I have, like, I'm so in love with him that I just, I pray that that he's not trying to look for anybody else and, and that he really does still want to be with me. And I just, I, I, I don't know how I would live if, without him, if he wanted to be with somebody else. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Hilly, age 28. A freelance photographer suspected of developing carnal relations with other women. Investigation day one. Soon after setting up a perimeter around the home inhabited by Amelia and her boyfriend, investigators spot the suspect, known only as Hilly, getting into his car and leaving the premises. After a brief pursuit, the suspect decides to spend his afternoon in a quiet uptown area. Biding his time, Hilly waits while an unknown female crosses the avenue and presents herself to him. The suspect stands up and greets the young lady with a grasping hug before snatching her hand and twirling her around like a porcelain ballerina. The two then sit, jiggling and giggling as they make chit-chat. Sometime later, the decision is made to move on. Beside his vehicle, he opens the car door to retrieve a camera. He then snaps a few quick photos of his comely lass, and after taking the pictures, Hilly whispers into his model's ear. Hilly's whisper is apparently abhorrent to his lady, earning him a slap in the face. Not quite what he was expecting, Hilly reels from her strike and she strides away in an angry huff. Investigation day four. With a key logger placed on the computer that Amelia and Hilly own, agents now have a deeper understanding of his depravity. The suspect is tailed to a local upscale restaurant. 
He waits patiently in front of the eatery until another unknown female arrives. Hilly enthusiastically hugs the woman in greeting. Once inside, the libations flow and the conversation is lively. After an hour or so, Hilly leans close and proposes to his companion that they depart. The key logger exposes that Hilly's secret is that he has placed online ads seeking small-breasted women to pose as models for an imaginary promotions business. He takes his object by the wrist and guides her toward a secluded tree. After posing his model and snatching a quick kiss, Hilly snaps photos of his mannequin opening her blouse and displaying her wares in a naturally seductive manner. Finished with the impromptu shoot, the pair quickly stride back toward the vehicle, with Hilly taking upskirt shots all the while. The suspect then drops his model off and returns home for the night. Investigation Day 8. Sleuths positioned around Amelia and Hilly's home spy the companion from previous surveillance, identified only as Mackenzie, arriving with another unknown female. Internal surveillance cameras placed inside by Amelia show a party atmosphere among the trio. As the women disappear to another part of the house to change clothing, Hilly fondles himself in anticipation of the fun. Returning to the living room, the two models, now dressed in swimwear, playfully tease each other as the disingenuous photographer pours more alcohol for the girls. With Amelia doing double duty at work and school, it's Hilly who's dominating, as evidenced in this recorded phone call. Hello? Hey, how's it going? You're late. Well, I'm going to out of class. I mean, I try to stay up for a little bit, talk to my professor, and I just got home. Talking to the professor, huh? Yeah. I need you to turn on the microwave for me. Why? Listen. You don't think I'm at home? What do you think? I don't think you're at home, of course. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me hear a ding. Is that good enough for you? I don't know you're not somebody else's house in the microwave. I'm not at our house. I just got back from class. Look, whatever. I'm going to get back to work. Just don't be late again, okay? Bye. Okay. Okay. Having disentangled Hilly's secret life, Cheater's PIs return to headquarters to compile the report. Coming up, the confrontation. With Hilly's dual agendas now discovered, Cheaters approaches Amelia to reveal the dreadful details. With her imagination running rampant, Amelia seeks slight solace in the truth. First of all, I want to say, Amelia, thank you for coming out today. We conducted our investigation, and uh, are you ready to see what we came up with? Yes. Okay, fair enough. On this day of investigation, we follow the suspect, your boyfriend, Hilly, from his house. He arrives at a local coffee shop. This unknown female arrives. He greets her, sits her down, kind of gives her the up and down, spins her around, seems to know exactly what he's doing. Some time later, they're seen standing by his vehicle. And that's when he opens his door, he pulls out his camera, and then she slaps him because he says something that obviously did not agree with her. You remember that camera we gave you to set inside your house for the internal surveillance? Yeah. Two girls arrive while you're at work. This is what we caught. Billy and the girls having some fun. It obviously looks like they're drinking, flirting. The girls change into bikinis in the middle of the party and they disappear. Okay, would you like me to call the detective now? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> You'll be okay. No, this is kind of a lot right now, but I think we're gonna get you your answers and... Thank you. Hey man, what's going on? About two hours ago, the same woman, <laughs> the same two women from previous surveillance... Yes. ...arrived. Okay. Uh, Hilly has created a makeshift beach in the backyard, and he has been taking pictures of these women, uh, as well as other things. Okay. If anything changes, I'll give you a call, but go ahead and head this way. All right, There's copy that. Thanks, man. You ready? Yep. Okay. All right, everybody, everybody out. out. Everybody out, right now, right now. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. <clears throat> Hey, what the f is going on? Who the f are these?
these bitches? Oh. What the f is this? Baby, this do you guys have any idea that this guy has a girlfriend? No, no he's, he's filming us. He's a photographer. We're, we're he's a photographer? Yeah, we're That's what he tells you? Yeah. You're a piece of No. Thank you. Listen, remember the thing? The thing that we talked about where I was going to... Uh, when you were going to what? No, I was going to get them. Hey, girl, come here. And he sends out these, okay, these fake get auditions. Get and get out of here. Whatever. You guys do know that, right? Out, out, out. We're not going to get paid. Sorry, we're out. We're out. There are these... Me, you hired photographs so yeah, I can pay, pay your school. We pay for so my you school. Can get through school. I pay for my own this school. On my You're a piece of surprise, 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 surprise. surprise. You. you need to be thinking. You've been doing this for how, you know, how many, how many girls has there been? God. I just talked to those two models. They were my models, left. And, and basically what I did, okay, I went out. I spent a lot of my time. While she was off studying and doing her thing at the library, and I, I spent my time to get some models so that I could get them here and, and do some photos for them. She's always doing for school. She's always doing. Surprise! Are you surprise? Dude. Surprise! No, no surprise. No, uh, no. But you gotta. No. What no. you gotta realize is, the no. is like, listen. She's this is seen... for you. Damn it! <laughs> I love you. Not them. Coming up. The conclusion. Hey, ask, what the f is going on? Who the f are these bitches? You? That's his girlfriend of a year and a half. I love you! Not them! This is for you! Yeah! You're ridiculous. Where are your yeah, horse? Come here. No, Get love, love me. Oh, so I, I'll, I'll never touch you again. I'll never touch you again. The girl in the bathing suit that gave you for her. Knees like that bitch was on Dude, her. Who was the other night stuck man. in your? Think I didn't see that? Mother. Dude, Dude, we she have might have sucked my. Okay, but I got paid for that. Nobody and paid you. Who would pay you? Look at you. To Nobody would pay you. you. Doing every douchebag. When you leave me at the house, watching. TV. Let me get this straight. You get paid to get your sucked. Wow. Once. Disgusting. Okay, once. So and that was because I was talked into it. She, she, she was like, hey, by hey, how do, I, how do I get Did into what you're doing? Did you get prop and proposition? And Ooh, no. some bitch and was like, he sucked your God. By who? You were going to realize I one day that I did all this for you out did of love. You? Did you? Did you? All of it out I of love. I put my all down the throat for love. Yeah. yeah. Did you do that? Is that what it is? <laughs> Honestly, man, you, got, you, have a, you, have a you have a choice right now. Hilly, you honestly have a choice right now, man. Obviously, look, this girl is coming because she loves you. She hired you because she was worried about this whole entire situation, which ended up being what her I worst nightmare you, was. I love you, Which is you cheating I love you. Don't hey, talk to me. Hey, that is just a, hey. Yes, yes, she sucked. Big honestly, fucking deal. Honestly, man. Big I, deal. Big deal. It's just a suck. I got paid for it How for can you? you? How that is you disgusting. Say that? Because that pays you for You are a vile human being. You are disgusting. I mean, she's seen all the surveillance, man. There's nothing you could say to her that would that would that would make any sense here. So what? Yeah, we did this on you for three weeks. Where's the iPad, please? Do you remember this day? Yeah. See those little whores? Remember that? Two weeks ago, we followed you. Do you remember this girl? No. We have you at this place. That's not even. That's not even me, dude. This isn't your car? No. You got this girl right here. You hug her, give her a kiss on the cheek. What's that about, man? So you guys come up with a guy that looks like me and you looks come to like my you. wife? Looks like you? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Wife to be? No, you I was lying. I was lying. Oh, you don't love me. Can you, you stand me? right here for me for one second? Let's just see. Let's bitch, just see. you're a bitch. Does that look like it's just you like you, No, I'm dude. not fighting back because I'm not wrong. What were you doing? Then were you making that, money? Man? Did you get paid to go to lunch? Did somebody pay you for that? Who is that? Did somebody pay you? you. They pay you to go to lunch? Unless you have an identical twin, man, that looks you. They told us you're not paying okay. us, mother. Okay. They, they told us. Told us the no. You. No. You're not Listen. gonna pay no, us. No. Settle down. Settle down. You're not a photographer. Pay you. You're not a photographer. Look at all the other girls. Look at all the other girls that you talked to. Listen. 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 Those no. are the other no. girls. No. No. That's not real. That's not. Man. Who oh. are these? Oh. Who the do I do? Which one is that? How can you do? I'm just letting you know. He does this all. This is not. We did surveillance on him because his girlfriend hired us, and this is what he does. He takes girls to bars. What are these other girls doing to get these jobs? Exactly what you did. What? Giving him what? Don't hit me. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just here to give you the truth, and that's all. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hilly, all. There's nothing you what can really say. What do you say, say for yourself? 
You said you're gonna pay us. Where's our money? I will. Already Come took the no. photo. Come here. And no. she put your I've, on her I've throat. So much. I have an agent who will get in touch. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Well, no, Check. we want the money now. I sucked your. You said no, you were gonna no, pay no. me. She did. Uh, well, she did. You said you were gonna pay me. She kind of did. She kind of did. He's not gonna pay any of you, all right? Kind of did. That stuff ain't a lie. You guys aren't gonna pay anything. Kind of. Kind you guys are just another kind one of. for his album that he's got in his house that he probably I masturbates you. to. Are you the ass? coming at me you with nasty fits. mother? No, I'm not nasty. I'm making yeah. money. And for by the you. way, just so you know, he said that you paid him to suck his. Bull the f witch! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! It was just a Where's thing. Where's money? I had to tell my. Listen. The the f come here. Come here. No, me. don't you touch me! I didn't know you ever touched me. Get him! Get him! I don't care about them, baby. I don't care. I don't. No, Wait for no. me. No. You. You. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's get, Let's get out. out. Obviously, obviously, he's not gonna pay. Do you man, think you listen are? to me, man. I'm gonna offer you guys a choice right now. Listen, we, you guys can honestly solve this and figure this out, and I can There's take it to the evening out. and and tell. There's this, absolutely until you nothing cool to up. figure out. Here, you know what, Haley? Why don't you come with us? Uh, we'll put you up in a hotel room for the a night. A hotel? Really? You think he deserves to stay in a hotel? Sleep on the street, you sack. Get him the away from me. Oh, let's go. Let's get him out of here. Come on. So much nicer. Let's go. Away from me. Haley, come here. I'm gonna take him to a hotel so you can cool off. Cameras out of my face. Hey, I'm gonna take him to a hotel and let him cool off. You, you can go back inside. Killing me. Haley, come here, man. Come with us. We're gonna take you out of here. Give her some time to cool off. We'll put you up in a hotel room for the night. I love you. I did. This was all for you. I swear to God. After the confrontation, Amelia concedes the grim reality of her situation. Stay tuned as Cheaters reveals her plans. But now, Cheaters welcomes Jonathan Chan, suspect from the Angelina Osterman case. Recalling his systemic meltdown on Cheaters, Jonathan blows plenty of smoke into his revisionist version of the day's events. Honestly, when you guys and everybody showed up, it it took me a while to even figure out what was going on. Uh, it was total shock when I saw her and it took a while for me to even really recognize that you guys are filming me. I knew you were there, but obviously I was more concerned with what was going on between she and I and her hitting, her hitting me. as heck didn't really think it through. All I really thought about was, here's this person who seems really fun, wants to hang out, enjoy her company quite a bit. It was like Angelina and I, uh, back in the day. I think I saw in her relationship with, you know, she had a family and kids, and those are some of the things that I'd hope that Angelina and I would have someday. What? What do you mean, you don't want me? What do you want to say? Because I'm ready to get you know, the out of here. You know, when's the last time we actually had a, some kind of freaking relationship? You know? No, 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 no. All I hear is blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Stop freaking hitting me. This is the same freaking problem we have. All you do is complain. Then go. Criticize, go. You know. Go. I'm not stopping like, you. Go. Here, like, I don't even know. Go. We've gone our separate ways. I love her. Uh, and I wish she would, uh. Give me another chance, but um, I, you know, it's out of my hands now. Amelia Coolidge is in a way grateful that cheaters caught her boyfriend. 
A reflective Amelia admits that she knew in the back of her mind that something wasn't right. She states, I realize I have to move on. Life doesn't stop just because some jerk screws you over. She has moved out of the home shared with suspect Hilly and is concentrating on finishing school and obtaining her degree. When contacted by Cheater's producers, Hilly kept repeating the same comments. I can't believe that she'd end our relationship just like that. I didn't do anything wrong. In fact, I did what I needed to do to make money for us. Mackenzie and her friend admit to being fooled by Hilly, but continue